as far as Sher Shivraj is concerned, <laughs> it is the first Marathi movie which is going to be having its trailer to be releasing in the metaverse. So, how did you think up of this? And uh, if you could tell us a little bit about the di- uh, digital collectibles and the NFTs of the movie, which will be up for purchase by the fans. Yeah, let us start with the metaverse first. As you are aware that we are, the world is looking at metaverse, NFTs, and all the youngsters, are, there is a lot of hohalla and a lot of buzz about the whole thing. So all these youngsters are getting too much hooked to the technology. And history, as the roots are there, so we wanted the history to be also part of the new generation. So we met uh, Dikpal sir. Dikpal sir is the person who is making an uh, eight film series on the Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj's journey. So he has already made three films before this. So he, uh, we call it the Shivraj Ashta. So the three films were quite popular with the whole media and uh, the, with the whole uh, audience where the, gen- the young generation also got to atta- get attached with the history of uh, Shivaji Maharaj. And now the, fi- now the fourth installment of the film is coming, which is Sher Shivraj. This story talks about one of the major chapters of Shivaji Maharaj, Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj's journey, where he actually uh, defeated a very famous general, uh, Abzal Khan. And basically, we know that Shivaji Maharaj is not only a hero for the Maharashtrians or the Mara- Mumbai public, he's a national hero, he's an international hero. When you, whenever you look at Swaraj or independence, we have his name coming in the forefront. So this was a very right time to introduce him in the metaverse. So the movie and with the Pulsar's uh, thing, we are introducing the first Marathi movie in the metaverse. So we have created the metaverse also, which has the element of films, which has the element of history mm-hmm. also attached to it. So that the young generation can actually have that immersive experience and they can see this thing. So what is the, uh, the, what is the experience going to be like for the people who are going to be seeing the trailer and how they can be involved in it and how will they be purchasing, you know, like, let's say let's say a lay person is watching this video and he doesn't know what the metaverse is. He's a fan of the movie. He's a fan of the director. He's seen the previous parts and he wants to be um, uh, part of this whole metaverse action yeah. and uh, get the digital uh, collectible. So how does he go about that? Yeah, the digital collectibles are, we are uh, releasing that pre-movie. This is just, uh, the digital collectibles are just part of the posters and all these things. We have not yet uh, zeroed in on the collectibles. The collectibles is going to be the second phase uh, of this thing, where the audience can also become the part of the movie memorabilia. I wanted to ask the uh, director and the actor was, that as far as portraying Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj is concerned, how did you really, you know, get into the character? Because it's a role which has been played a lot of times before. So how did you get into the role itself? So basically, uh, as you know, ki, uh, Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj ko always present kiya jata hai as a warrior. And when we talk about warrior ki baat karte in medieval age, to usme talwar, ghoda, ya war, uske aage koi jata nahi hai. Lekin we are exploring ki Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj is not only the that kind of warrior. He is a great ruler, he is a good administrator as well. Abzal Khan jo aaye the, wo uh, badi sari sena leke aaye the, 65,000 ki sena thi and Swarajya ki jo strength thi, it will, uh, it is around uh, uh, 7,000 or so. So, itne bade dushman ko harane ke liye, uh, bahut uh, uh, taakat ki zarurat nahi uh, hoti, uh, dimaag ki zarurat hoti hai. So, this is a kind of psychological war. 65,000 uh, uh, Sena Lekar Jo General Aya Tha, Wo finally Une Unse Akele Mila. So that situation is created by Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj. So, ye psychological warfare Jo hai, Wo Bhot Sari Armies may be as a chapter Padhaya Jata hai, ki how the strategy should be. So, ye chapter uh, youth tak pochane ke liye, rather than कि वॉर वॉर फाइट एक्शन उससे आगे बढ़कर छत्रपति शिवाजी महाराज के जो एट्रिब्यूट्स थे जो आज के दिनों में भी हम यूज कर सकते हैं जैसे इतनी बड़ी विपदा के बाद भी वो फ्रस्ट्रेट नहीं हुए डिप्रेस नहीं हुए जो कि आज के हमारे आफ्टर आफ्टर कोविड आफ्टर पेंडेमिक हम सब उससे जूझ रहे हैं एक साइकोलॉजिकल चीज से सो वी आर ट्राइंग टू पुश द यूथ कि आप अपने एंसेस्टर्स से सीखिए 
कि इतनी बड़ी आपदाएं उन पे भी आ चुकी थी जिसमें उनको भी जान का धोखा था लेकिन दे सर्वाइव एंड हाउ दे सर्वाइव हाउ दे फॉट क्योंकि इतनी बड़ी आर्मी सामने खड़ी है तो उसके लिए आप में ताकत नहीं हिम्मत होनी चाहिए उनसे लड़ने के लिए तो कैसे हिम्मत जुटाई उन्होंने कैसे उससे रास्ता निकाला एंड फाइनली हाउ दे विन ये ये स्टोरी वो डेपिक करती है फिजिकल आस्पेक्ट्स physicality of chhatrapati shivaji maharaj but uh, what dikpal has been trying to achieve since past three films is he is trying to get out the human aspect of the the king uh, yes he is superhuman in many of his uh, feats and many of his abilities that he has achieved but still uh, what is it that makes him such a great person so that is what we have been trying to focus on for past three films now in this fourth film actually Uh, he takes on one on one he takes on a uh, an enemy who has who is considered to be one of the greatest enemy who has ever encountered so uh, for me as an actor it was uh, uh, mainly about getting that um, that mentality right ke theek hai ek bahut bada sankat aa raha hai unpe ek bahut bada challenge aa raha hai but how do i how do i meet him level by level इट्स नॉट डेट के पहले दिन से पता था कि अकेले मिलेगा और अकेले में मिलके मैं जो भी उसका एक एनकाउंटर होगा हाउ ही गॉट हिम टू दैट दैट वन टेन मिनट्स ऑफ हिज लाइफ वेरी वाज अलोन विद शिवाजी महाराज दैट इज द दैट इज द मेन मेजर माइंड गेम ऑफ दिस इज द फर्स्ट मराठी मूवी हूज टेलर इज बीइंग लॉन्च्ड इन द मेटावर्स राइट सो दिस इज ऑब्वियसली गोना क्रिएट अ लॉट ऑफ रिपल्स एंड इट्स गोना सॉर्ट ऑफ सेट अ प्रेसिडेंट for the other marathi movies to come now any plans in the other movies to release the entire movie in the metaverse because right now i mean you know people are not really that knowledgeable about the metaverse if you talk about the common public also so how are you how are you going to go about that see it's, it's really first time for all of us yeah uh, i mean even we are not sure i am not sure what i'm going to see right now or what exactly is the experience going to be right. so let's see if it is good why not why not uh, and secondly uh, uh, we try to uh, push uh, shivaji maharaj's name uh, in all the uh, sectors as jaise uh, software ya it ke log hain jo very well versed hain regarding uh, this metaverse and all these uh, technological things to wo sara crowd bhi iske zariye jud sakta hai film se so that's what we are thinking ki let's experiment this new <coughs> right right i think i think overall it's a very it's a very interesting uh, time uh, exactly. my name is nitin kelly i am one of the producers so, so i am heading the mms the Ma- mumbai marathi studio mumbai Ma- uh, movie studios okay. uh, i said marathi i think that's a great you <laughs> 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 you need to it so because majority of the films we are making is in marathi and this is of course one of our major very important uh, associations with dikpal who mm-hmm. already made a uh, four films out of eight and we have just joined him we are fortunate to uh, that you know that he is invited us to be part of this whole uh, journey uh, let me just try and answer your question because that uh, since i have been in television i have been in films and all that i have seen this uh, thing happening for the last 30 years how a new thing comes in you know uh, completely upsets the previous uh, uh, system uh, like when uh, z came in it upset the entire two dashan system of having uh, uh, you know terrestrial television so yeah. that was satellite television and when when the when recently when the internet came in you know the ott platforms what has happened the television is now challenged and it's the ott which has actually uh, come in so many times one thought that will films ever go on to ott directly Uh, i mean 10 years ago you wouldn't think so so today we don't know if metaverse can rise to the occasion and become one of the revenue components of a, of a film because the film is able to give you revenues and rights and positions in different platforms 
Right. So it's quite possible that metaverse can actually become a very important component of the film uh, revenue stream in the future. Right. Right. No, agreed. Agreed. I mean, it's something that really one has to one has to wait and watch what exactly happens. Uh, yeah, right now, absolutely. basically, with social media yeah. and new things coming up, everybody has an opinion. Yeah. So there are a lot of things which everybody is saying. Yeah. And there's a but, yes, but yeah, yeah, finally, finally, we we'll really get to know what exactly happens in the future. But uh, thanks a lot, thanks yes. a lot for talking to me. Um, and uh, all the all the best for the uh, all the best thank for the you. trailer, thank all the best for the film, all the best for all the other films which you're going to make. And uh, thanks a lot for talking to us.